Hello everyone. In today's video, let's learn how to find the order and degree of a differential equation. So friends, order and degree helps us to find the solution of differential equations. That's why it's very important to understand what is order and degree. So first, let's define order of a differential equation. So order of a differential equation is nothing but order of the highest order derivative of the differential equation. So friends, if you recall, these are the derivatives, right? dy by dx or y dash is the first order derivative. d square y by dx square or y double dash is the second order derivative. The third order derivative is denoted by y triple dash. It is d cube y by dx cube and friends this continues. So shall we now see a few examples of differential equations and find out their orders. Here is the first example. Now friends if you see there are two derivatives over here. Let's see their order. This is of the second order and this is of the fourth order. So what is the definition? Order of the highest order derivative. So which is the highest order derivative? Definitely it's 4. So 4 is the order of the entire differential equation. That's it friends. It's very easy. Let's go on to the next example. Here you have y double dash minus log y equal to y double dash the whole square. Again, let's apply the rule. This is also of the second order. This is also of the second order. So the highest order is 2. So 2 is the order of the entire differential equation. Let's take the third example. Here I have d square s by dt square. So here the dependent variable is s and the independent variable is t. Okay, this is the differential equation. What is the order of this derivative friends? Yes, it's 2. What about this one? It is 1 and this derivative also is the first order derivative. So which is the highest order derivative over here? Definitely it's 2. So 2 is the order of the entire differential equation. Let's go to the last example friends. Here this is the first order derivative and here I have a third order derivative. So can you guess what will be the order of the differential equation? Yes, definitely it will be 3 because that is the highest order derivative. So friends, I hope you understood how to find the order of a differential equation. Let's now move on to degree of a differential equation. So degree of a differential equation is defined as the highest degree or power of the highest order derivative of the differential equation. So friends, if you recall, degree is nothing but power or exponent. Okay. Now friends, here are a few things you need to take care. The differential equation should be a polynomial equation in derivatives or it should be reducible to a polynomial equation. Now friends, if you recall, what is a polynomial equation? Any equation where the powers or the exponents are whole numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3. Such an equation is called a polynomial equation. So if you have fractions like half, 2 by 3 or negative powers like minus 2, minus 3, then your equation is not a polynomial equation. So to find the degree, your differential equation should be a polynomial equation or you should be able to reduce it to a polynomial equation. Friends, we'll see that later how to reduce it. So the second very important condition is that the derivative should not be a function of trigonometric or exponential or logarithmic functions. Now, what do we mean by that is, if your differential equation has a term, say sine of d square y by dx square, or maybe e raised to y double dash, or log of dy by dx. If you have any such term in your differential equation, it will not be a polynomial function, friends. And if it's not a polynomial function, you cannot define the degree of a differential equation. So these are the few things we need to take care. Now let's go ahead and find the degrees of these differential equations. Here was our first example. As you saw, the highest order 
derivative here was 4. Now, before we jump to find the degree, shall we first check if it's a polynomial equation? Well, this derivative has the power 3 and this derivative has the power 1. So, it is definitely a polynomial. So, the degree definitely exists. So, let's see the highest order derivative here. The highest order derivative is this 4. Now, only focus on the highest order derivative and find its power friends. What is the power of this derivative? Definitely it's 1. So 1 will be the degree of the entire differential equation. So friends, once you find out the highest order derivative, do not look at the other derivatives or their powers. So if you see here, this derivative has the power 3. So you may think that the degree is 3 because 3 is bigger than 1. But that is not the case. You need to first find out the highest order derivative and only look at the degree of that highest order derivative. I hope this is clear friends. Let's proceed to the next example. Here if you see both the derivatives are of the second order. So the highest order is 2. Now in such a case you should find out the highest degree of the highest order derivative. So here the degree is 1 and here the degree is 2. So which is a higher degree? Definitely it's 2. So 2 will be the degree of this entire differential equation. So friends, I hope this example is also clear. Let's go on to the next example. In this differential equation, I can clearly see that the highest order is 2. But friends, is it a polynomial equation? Let's Let's check it out. This derivative has power 1, this derivative has power 2 but if you see this derivative is inside a trigonometric function and we have clearly defined that your derivative should not be a function of trigonometric function. If so, then it is not a polynomial function, friends. So this equation is not at all a polynomial. And if it is not a polynomial equation, the degree is not defined. So always ensure, friends, that your equation is a polynomial and then only proceed to find the degree. Okay, now let's go on to the next example. Here I have dy by dx the whole square and d cube y by dx cube. So definitely the highest order is 3. But is it a polynomial? equation? Definitely not friends because if you see the power of this derivative is not a whole number. It is going to be a fraction. So let's see if we can reduce this equation to a polynomial. So what I can definitely do is I can square both the sides friends. Can we not? Yes. So let's go ahead and square both the sides of this equation. So when I square both the sides this is what we end up with. Both the sides have to be squared, something like this. So friends, what happens is that this square root and square definitely cancels out or negates. So all that remains on the left hand side is this and on the right hand side definitely you can write y squared d cube y by dx cube the whole square friends. So did you see that we were able to reduce this differential equation to a polynomial equation? Now you can definitely say that the degree exists friends. So just focus on the highest order derivative. Yes, this is the highest order derivative and what is its power? It's 2. So 2 is the degree of this entire differential equation. So friends, I hope you understood how to find the degree of such a type of equation. Friends, here are two examples for you to try out. Do find out the order and degree of these two equations and write the answers in the comment section below. So friends, I hope that you found this video useful. If so, do like and share the video. Please do consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again in the next video, take care. Bye.